Hey, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Um, happy Easter, first and foremost. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, so let's get, get into this video. Uh, so this video is going to be my, ex my first ever experience at my local comic shop. So just to give you a little backstory. Um, it's, uh, I guess, I don't know, I'm not too, I, I can't really gauge the size of a, of a comic book shop. This is the first one I've actually been to. Uh, funny enough, so this comic book store um, has been in my hometown for like, for years, man. Like, I'm, I'm talking about this place was on, this place has been in the same spot. Um, probably going on like 30 something, 40 years. Because I remember... Um, I I used to go past this when I would go to school, or like even when I used to work uh, close to that area. Uh, this shop was that shit. This shop has always been there. I'm talking about we're going back to like I think I first recognized the store when I was like in middle school. So that was like 2000, 2000 about, about 01, 02. Excuse me. Uh, when I when I first recognized the store, that actually acknowledged that not acknowledged, but that I actually, um, I guess I actually um, paid attention to what was on the streets at that time, um, and I know, and I was like, oh, I, um, oh, this is the the comic book store. Um, so yeah, um, so I, I guess I'll just give I just give my experience. So yesterday, <clears throat> I uh, I was you know I was I was you know I was bored at home. Um, and I wanted something to do, so plus I had some other stuff to get done uh, before the weekend was over. So I decided, you know what? Let me head uh, let me head downtown. Uh, you know, run a couple errands real quick, and then just check out the shop. Because I I don't I have been I've been uh, I've been always been finding the perfect time to go to the shop because I can never go to the shop during the week because um, I always I work like in the middle of the afternoon and they don't open their shop until twelve on the weekdays on the weekends it's a little easier they open at ten o'clock um, but they close early which I guess that makes sense. Um, it's a small, I guess it's a decent sized store. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I was like, you know what, let me check it out. I, I've been going past this place for years and I've always wanted to check out what they what they got. So I went in there and I guess I went on the perfect day because when I went in there, I was looking at the door and it said 20% uh, off all like graphic novels and comics that are marked. So I was like, oh, okay, cool, that's what's up. Uh, so I went in there. Um, it was cool. The guy, guy at the uh, guy was at the county agreement. Hey, what's up? He's like, oh, what's up? And there was no, there was a, there was a quite a few people in there at the time when I went in there. Um, so when you walk in, the first thing I notice uh, when you walk in, there's like a, a shelf on your left and a shelf right in front of you, and then on the right is where you have like all your um, all your, your your other shelves of like comics and stuff. Um, so I walked in. The first thing I noticed to my left was all the graphic novels. Cause they, that's what they, I guess that's why they set it up that way. So that's what the first thing you noticed. <clears throat> so I walked in and I looked to the left and I was like, I just re immediately went, I immediately started checking out what they had because it said 20% off on the, on the, on the stickers, on the, on the, t on the, on the signs. So I was like, all right, cool, whatever. Let me check this stuff out. Um, and when you think about 20% off of like $10 books, it's not bad. Even like $14 books, 20% off is actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good deal. So I went there, but on the left side, um, huh. um, sorry, there was, there's some weird message on, uh, OBS about something. Should be fine. 
Anywho, <laughs> anywho, so yeah, they had the, the very so in the very front on the left. It's more for like the graphic now for like real young kids. So and I was like, okay, whatever. I, I wasn't really looking for anything, uh, you know, for kids anyway, especially not that young. But there's a shelf in front, and they have some other graphic novels. Uh, so it's all like a mixture of like all kinds of graphic novels. So this, but this sp uh, particular shelf had like graphic novels that were like a little higher, more like teens, I guess. And you know, I looked at it for a little bit. I uh, seen what they had. They had some, uh, some like some. If I remember correctly, that shelf had had a mix of like a, like I said, a mix of everything. So it had like some. The image stuff, uh, some smaller independent companies, DC Marvels. Um, they had some app. They had some course. They had a lot of course stuff. Uh, they had like one. They had that one title for, for the actual original Avatar series, and then there was like this big old like figurine that was next to it that was like holding up the the two Avatar books. Um, but I wasn't in there for no for no for no uh, for no, for no figurines and then like that. Um, and then there's some other stuff. Uh, when you open, oh, when you, you know, I was reading, I was like, you know, checking out the books, reading them. Um, you can tell that, um, you can, uh, you can tell that, <laughs> you can tell that that stuff is for the age it's intended to. Um, I I was skimming through some of the pages or whatever, and like you can just tell like the like this not it's not I, I didn't really read too deep into it, but like the art style is very it's very for it's very what you would expect for a book of that caliber, I guess if you if you get what I'm saying. It's not bad, but it's it's very it's it really fits the uh, that demographic that they're going for. So I, I looked at that for a little bit. I was like, all right, cool, let me move on. Because uh, there was a lot to see. Because this book, this uh, shop has two floors. Which is actually pretty cool. Um, I'll, get to the, I'll get to the second floor in a second. So I was still walking around. Uh, then then I walked down the little, the little, I guess, the little walkway. Where that shelf was and, like, everything on that side. And so there was... Um, that on that side where that shelf is, this Funko Pop, the little uh, the Funko keychain thing, which I should have got because it was a cool little Godzilla one. But I was like, uh, do I need a keychain really? Especially a seven dollar keychain. Like, remember, the twenty percent off is only on the books. It's not for uh, not for anything else. Everything else is full price in that, which whatever. I'm not I'm not nitpicking about that, but uh. I'm thinking about it. I should have got it because when, when I was looking on the floor um, that was the only section where the keychains were and it was really that Godzilla one and it was a Kong one so basically it was a there were, there were Funko stuff from the from the, the last uh, was it, is it King versus is it Godzilla versus Kong or the Kong versus God, whatever that last movie that came out uh, I think was last year or a couple years ago um, I should have got that. They had a cool Funko, but like I said, I, I wasn't really looking for figurines or anything like that. I didn't feel like, but I didn't feel like I wanted to go in there for some books to check out the books. So after that, um, I turned around and, you know, there was some more graphic novel stuff, uh, mainly the big two stuff. And then on the left of that is what I was really, really excited to see with the, all the manga. They have a really good manga section, because uh, the, the manga section actually goes, um, like, so if you walk in, you walk down the out, that little walkway, like I said, when I turned around to your right, on the, on the right, so, so if you turn around, so, so think of it like, uh, so if you're walking down that walkway, on the left, would be what I was talking about, the Funko Pops and uh like the and like the 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 keychain stuff. And then on your right is the book. So if you would turn to your right and yeah, you're facing that bookshelf, on the right of that bookshelf is like the 
like still I, that was like more of the the big two stuff um and then on the left of that was with the with the like I guess like the end of the manga because it's alphabetical. So this was like uh, oh no, was this the beginning? I don't know. It's weird. So anyway, I remember this shelf had like a, a bunch of Fire Force volumes and it had the omnibuses. I was thinking of getting the omnibus because the omnibus had the first three had the first three volumes uh, for nineteen ninety nine. And you think about it with the twenty percent off, right? No, no, the manga. Was the manga twenty? Ah, uh, what's the manga twenty? Hold on, I got the receipt for it. Let me see. It, it, I, it was cheaper. The uh, the uh. Everything was cheaper than what, uh, hmm, because everything was cheap, it came out cheaper than what I expected. Sure. But anyway, so yeah, I, I, I was, I, I was, uh, I was, I was, I was, uh, damn, excuse me, I can't talk. I was more than happy to pay the full price for the manga. I ain't tripping. It was 20 bucks, whatever. Uh, it's also a better deal. For 20 bucks, you get three volumes. If you buy each individual, buy, if you buy, if you, if you were to buy the first three volumes, that would put you up to 30 bucks. They'd be nine ninety nine a piece. So... I should have got it, but now I was thinking, I think it'll be there next time. I don't know how often I'll go, but I don't think, I don't think anyone, I don't think there's a huge demand for Fire Force, um, Omnibuses, which are actually pretty cool, actually, when you think about it. You get more bang for your buck. You get three volumes for 30%, 30% of the price, essentially, which is pretty good. Um, then they had, uh, what else they had? So they had, you know, you had, the, so you go on the other side, I get to, so I, I just, I'll try to finish what's on this side. There was Fire Force, um, and some, there was some other stuff I was looking at on that side, but I, I didn't really check it out. So then I went to the left. And it's like a there's a spin rack of, of more manga, and they had uh, I was so excited when I saw it. I'll, I'll show what I got uh, later at the end. Um, yeah, they're, they're like the stuff they had, in the, like even though the stuff was like out of order, um, they had B stars, um, which I should have got. Um, but like I'm on a budget, so what I got. It's perfect. Like what for the amount of stuff I got, um, I think I only if I had paid that same amount for what I got, I would have got like I only would have got like three books instead of the six I got. Um, so yeah, there was more stuff. I saw the B stars. Though. I really do want to say what you will. I do want to read the B stars uh, manga. I want to see what happens after the uh, end of season two. Um, they had uh, Noragami, they had, uh... so then we get to the other side, the back side of that shelf. Um, they had, uh... dang, what else did they have? I can't remember what they had on each specific shelf, but I, I guess I'll just go into what I saw. So they had, uh, what was the I was reincarnated as a spider, so what? Um, what else they have that I liked? They had you had your Dragon Balls, you had your you had your Death Note stuff. Uh, they had Call of the Night. I really want to read that. The problem is they only had the they I think volume ten, which is the most recent volume. 
Uh, they didn't have anything else before that, which is disappointing. So, you know, people are picking that up right when it comes, right when it drops, or they're just not getting the. Uh, there, there has to be a demand for it because they they're getting the the latest volumes. Um, or maybe they're just using. They're, maybe they're waiting for the people to to actually, I guess, the people to pick up the volumes and then I guess they'll gauge what to send in. I guess I don't know. Um, I'm not sure how that works with inventory. Um, there's definitely some other guys on YouTube that I watch that know more about that stuff. Um, like, uh, I guess, like, a, if you like, if you like Perch comics with Perch or what's his name, Critical Thinking with uh, Wes. Uh, who else do I watch? The uh, Issue Boy Zach. Eric July, but Eric July talks more about his own comic now, which is obviously that's his priority. Uh, who else do I watch comic wise? I think that's I think that's it, really. I mean I watch like some other guys sprinkled here and there that actually know about the comic stuff. But those are the main like four people I watch. But they, they do a lot more videos on like how comic book stores um figured all that stuff out. Uh so anyway, there was that. It was just so much in that store, bro. Which I was very surprised for the manga stuff. Um, dang, I should have took pics. But I was, I was just so in the moment enamored of what I saw. It's like I said, this is the first time I've ever been to a comic book shop in my life. I've been to like Barnes and Nobles and Borders and um, you know, shops like at my local library back in the day. When I used to go, they had manga. Um, so, yeah, people say, oh, well, manga hasn't been around that long. Well, manga's been around for years, dude. I, when I was going to public libraries in, like, the early 2000s, they had, they actually had a decent size, uh, they had, like, a decent size manga set. Actually, uh, what's that, John? Slam Dunk. I think Slam Dunk was probably the first manga I ever read. For real, for real. Because I would just, uh, because I would go home. Um, there'd be just, there's some day, like, I, go, I gotta go, like, do work or whatever. That's where a lot of the comics and, like, graphic novel stuff I used to read. There's actually one graphic novel, if I can remember the name, it was actually really cool. It was almost like a, it's like a, like a, like a, it was it's like a mix of like a Constantine. It wasn't a Constantine, but it was like a mix of like Constantine and like a, like it's like a detective supernatural thriller. It was actually pretty cool. I just don't, I don't remember what that freaking book was called. It's been over ten years since I read that, but yeah. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm going get back to the book. So the bookstore. So I get back to the comic book shop. So yeah, they just had a, a lot of good stuff. Um, and then after that, I went back to the second uh, aisle um, where they were. You know, it, it displays like all the the most recent, the most popular graphic novel. And I was surprised, but I shouldn't be surprised that Saga was on there. So I saw Saga, and I was like. Oh my god, I hadn't read that in years because I had caught up to it and then it went on hiatus and I never, I just never kept up with the book. Um, apparently they got, there's new volumes out for it. Now I don't know how, um, I'm not sure how, how many volumes have been out since the last one I read. I think I read like, how far did I get in Saga? Um, I don't know, it, it's, that, that story is crazy. Uh, but there's a lot of... I don't even remember how far... I think the last thing I remember... I think they... I think the Somebody got separated from somebody. If I remember. But anyway, so I saw that. I was like, oh man, that was pretty cool. That's what's up. But yeah, it was just, it was just like... Uh, I don't know, it was, a, it was a good, it was, I don't know, I went in there and it was just like, I 
I don't know. It just like you just ha you just go in there. I went in there and it was like it was just nice. It was just a like a cool. It was like a cool feeling, you know what I'm saying? Like it just like it wasn't like you can just you you just feel like you you relax, you know what I'm saying? You can just look at the stuff, and there was a lot of stuff. Um, and then there was one more aisle on the far like so. Like, remember I told you when I walk in? So on the right hand side, there's like uh like they're basically the stuff. The sh these shelves hold up like the the displays that are in the window um so that one that was like more of like the the stuff that's like the new new releases because so the what the one i saw that said saga where i saw the saga books that was like the most popular and then on that next aisle where the displays are um that was like the new stuff i remember that was like the new releases so, and then you go further down left and you got your, like, your displays and, like, uh, like, in that, that corner. I'm not gonna say, like, a corner. It's in the corner, but it's, like, it's not, like, it's secluded. Uh, it's not, like, so secluded where it's, like, you don't recognize it. Like, you see the stuff. Like, you know, you have, like, your, your figurines. You got your, like, tinket, uh, tinket, tinket trees? Uh, not, not, tinket trees? What the hell? I'm thinking of Pokemon. They ended that Pokemon Tink Tinkerton. Uh, so yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, like you know, like your mugs and stuff like that. So very cool. And then when you go there, you make a left, and then that whole wall is like your uh, basically like the floppies. Um, I looked at that for a little bit, but I'm not like I said, I'm not a big. Um, I don't know. I'm not a lot of that stuff in there was like. Like Mar it's, it's a big, it's essentially all that, a lot of that stuff like superhero stuff. I like superhero stuff, but I don't like it to the degree. That probably explains why I picked up what I picked up. Um, yeah. So then after that, I did all that, and oh, there's one more section. So I remember I told you there's a downstairs section. So um, there's like another corner right before the steps. And that has like all like that has like the legit like superhero graphic novel stuff, and I was checking that stuff out, and I was like, okay, okay, I see, you, I see. You. It's got a, it's a very good selection. There's a lot of good stuff in there, but I will say, um, you really have to look. You really have to, um, you really have to do your your due diligence and actually sit in there for a while and like kind of look through a lot of the stuff because like I said when you think of comics unfortunately we think of superhero stuff which is what started it yeah but there are some there's some cool stuff that's outside of superheroes you just gotta look for it and I think that's part of the fun that's why I, was, I think I was in that store I think I was in the store for, I was in there for a good while I was in for like 45 minutes to an hour I, I lost track of time I didn't think I was going to be in there that long. Um, because my part of it was just to kind of just check it out. And then if I was going to buy something, I was going to buy some manga. I didn't get it this time. So, I mean, next time I will be getting manga. Definitely. Actually, I get, no, I got a, I got a manga t uh, yesterday. What am I talking about? I would have got more manga. But like I said, I'm on a budget. Like I said, if I got like six books, that would have been $60. And like I said, I don't think the manga. I think I, I don't I don't know I'm I'm confused I don't know I just know like what I bought and what I was expecting to pay was two different things. So I guess they gave me the discount anyway, even though I, it, there was no sign over it. And so let me tell you something. I'm a big person. I am a big person, but. When it comes to reading signs, this is I work in in retail. There's this really big weird. There's this weird thing about people. Oops. Oh, oh my clothes are done. Um. So there, there's this really big thing with people not reading signs. It's very weird. The place I work at. 
There's a lot of places I work there where people just do not read signs. It's very, very strange. I don't understand. How did you get from point A to point B without reading signs? You, you, if you, you drove here, right? Like, did you read? Did, did you just look at nothing on the road when you were driving? I, I never understand that. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's a very strange phenomenon. Like, how did you get here, bro? There's no way you got here in one piece without reading signs. You had to read signs. You had to read the 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 where it said the turn, where it said the park, where it said to get off at the at the exit, where to get on, the merge into these highways. Like, like I, I don't I don't understand this. You had to read street signs most likely to find out exactly where you are. I mean, even if you know exactly where you're going, it's just. It's a natural thing to look around. It should be a natural thing to look around and be observant. And it seems like a lot of people aren't observant of their surroundings nowadays. It's very strange. It's, that goes against human nature not to be observant. I don't know. I mean, even if you're in your even I'm a big guy. I like to be in my own world. I like to be in my own space. So I like to wear um, I like to wear my headphones a lot. Which is weird. Yesterday was a very strange day. Like, I just, for some reason, I just had no desire to put in my headphones. I actually wanted to, for once, one of the few times, I actually wanted to listen to my surroundings. Even though it's kind of, it's, it's kind of like in a, so the, the like, the, the biggest, like, city, I guess if you can call it, like, other than, like, downtown D.C., right? The closest city where I live at is um or like I guess metropolitan area. Um and so I usually don't like all that kind of guy all you listening to is you know there's really nothing you're really listening for or listening to. It's just cars and I guess if there's construction going on you like you just hear people like just people moving and just talking. But you, you usually don't hear like what people are saying, unless you walk by them, and even then you don't really get the full gist of what they're saying. Um, yes, yeah, so I don't know. It was a strange day. I just, I guess, I just wanted to hear everything around me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that was the first floor. <laughs> That's the that was all. That was the first floor. I haven't even got to the second floor. So uh, I guess the one thing. Um, so yeah, like overall, so at that point, you know, everything was, everything's cool, I guess. Like I said, I had no expectations. There was nothing really I was legitimately looking for because I don't know, I didn't know what they had. So when I went up to the, um, the, the cash register, uh, there was another guy. Now uh, he was cool because I, like I said, there was a different guy when I walked in and I, I guess I didn't I didn't rec I didn't see when he came in, uh, but he was you know taking the he was uh, ringing up the people, and you know um, I guess to, I guess yesterday was was one of them days where I, you know I guess my I guess my brain was telling me you might want to you know you might want to you know, take them earbuds out and, and kind of listen. Because like I said, I had up until that point, that whole day, I had no earbuds in. You know what I mean? I, I didn't listen to any music, really any kind of podcast. Uh, I, I did all that stuff on, on the way home. Um, but, so, it, it's very weird, just the, the conversations you hear when you're not looking to hear certain conversations it was very weird not crazy but like so the guy you know like i said it's not a it's not a huge store so there is some like people are pretty much in close proximity like it's it's small enough where like if, unless you're whispering and even then you can probably still hear it if you're quiet enough or if you're listening well enough but it's just the uh, just the, the conversations in there, like, <laughs> it was like one lady was like, I guess with her kid, and, 
what the I, guess, I don't know. I guess what the, I guess they had been because when I walked in, they were you know waiting by the register, and they were there for a while, and, and then they went up there and talked to them, and they just rang them up and everything, and I don't know. I don't know. It was just like it wasn't nothing crazy. It was just normal conversation. I mean, there were some jokes here and there. Uh, the the guy at the cash register was making. Um, there was one. <laughs> there was one with. Uh, so that there was one re recurring theme. This guy kept bringing up. I don't know if he was joking or he was. Or I don't know if he was being real and he was just being funny about this. It, it was something about him and his. There was always this recurring thing about him and his ex-wife. Now I don't know if that was a if that's like some kind of joke he makes with everyone. I guess he just he just accept. I mean, hey, look, man, if he, she's if she's your ex-wife, um, hey, man, I mean, it is what it is. It's it's, o it's over. But I don't know. There was a something. It was it was a it was a humorous conversation that that point he kept bringing up about his ex-wife I, I don't know why that was just funny to me and then he I'll get to the I get to what he said to me um about the uh about that I don't know it was just weird and then it was one and it was, it was something about which is actually so this right here, this I, I, this right here. So, the lady and her kid. Um, there, I don't know. There was that lady in there. There was a, like another family in there, and you know. So I went in there, and it was just like, like I said, when I you know, I tell you when I went in there, it just felt like it was. Something about the the aura. It was just like it was a uh, what, what cathart not lethargic, um, cathart cathart. The word I think that's the what's the word for that? It was like you walk into I guess like an area, and it's just it's calm and it's like it's it's I don't want to say serene. It's not it's not that. It's not that uh, incredible of a. <laughs> no offense. It's, it's not that incredible of a, of an area. But I don't know something about just. I guess it's just you go into a place and people like genuinely. Just they're genuinely excited and happy to be in that place. You know what I'm saying? I work in retail and I deal with a lot. Of, I'm about the, I'm about the curse. Uh, <laughs> I, and I, I work in a place where it's like a lot of people come into the store and are just like upset. I'm like, like I get it. Like you got to come here because you got some stuff you got to buy for work. But why are you so, I don't know. Why are you so uptight? It's like, geez, like relax. I, I'm sure you get paid plenty of money. Why are you upset that for 30 minutes out of your day, you got to come here and buy something for your job. And most of the time, these people come in and get reimbursed for this stuff. So it's not like, um, it ain't like it's coming, I mean, it's coming out of your pocket, but you're gonna get paid, you're gonna, be, you're gonna get paid back for it. Relax. And then they probably gonna pay you for mileage and if, and they probably gonna pay you for your lunch anyway. I'm like, you tripping, bro. You really like, relax. I'm sorry you have to spend at 30 minutes an hour of your day in the store. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Jeez, man. It's like some of these people come in and like are just like chronically depressed. I'm like, like, I don't, I, it's just, some people are just ungrateful. It's like the, the people that come in and like the job that you work your salary is probably bigger than that whole front end of people. And you still coming upset and and like and mean. It's like that's that's such a ungrateful person. That's so that's a, that's just such a weird concept to me. Like Yeah, you gotta spend <laughs> what is what is what is an hour to you anyway? You know what I'm saying? 
what's an analogy if you get paid uh, I don't, forty-five, fifty dollars an hour at your job? You know what I'm saying? Because I live so, like I said, the, like I said, the closest area to me, the closest major city, would be downtown D.C. A lot of the people working like D.C. Uh, so the surrounding areas um, of where my job is like Rockville. Potomac and Bethesda. So if you don't know those three cities, those are like very well off areas in my county. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. So it's a lot of, it's a lot of well off people who have very good paying jobs and it's like, it's, it's very weird with people like well off people. Uh, not all of them, obviously. I shouldn't have to say that. But it seems like well-off people are always upset. That's weird. I'm like, why are you upset, bro? You making 70, 80, 90 K a year. Who Who is upset about that? Who would be upset about making that kind of money? Yeah, you got, oh, I'm sorry you got to do stuff you don't want to do. That's uh, life. That's part of jobs. Not every job, even if you work for yourself, even if you're like a freelance artist, a, a content creator, um, you got your own business. There are stuff in days where you just don't want to do that job or to do the certain do the certain task to complete that job. I'm sorry, but that that comes with the territory. You you want 90k and you want it to be a breeze. That that's not that's not right. That's like eat that. If people on the lower end make 30k they gotta do twice three times as much of the dumb stuff that you ha probably have to do on a weekly basis and you're upset that stuff is weird bro that's very weird i don't know like you gotta you gotta get your priority straight and get your life in order because that's a very weird thing to be upset about. You make plenty of money to live off. You can live comfortably, but you still upset. Like, I'm, I'm, I guess I, I don't know. I'm sorry you have to be around the grunts of the world. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's the mentality. They don't want to be around common folk. That's just it's weirdo mentality. Be great. Be grateful for what you got, bro. It's funny. I'm making this video on Easter. <laughs> And I'm talking about gratefulness. I, I guess I guess that was this was meant to be. Um, so anyway, um, so like I said, so far uh, everything was fine. Nothing was crazy. Not, nothing went crazy. But it was nice just hearing them kids just be excited about the comics, and they were more. I mean, obviously they're like uh, they're they're, much, they're like I guess like what is that Gen Z, Gen Xers, whatever, whatever that age bracket is. Under me, the two, the, uh, two. There's two age brackets under me. So there's like, there's like the twenty, twenty nine folks. Well, no, I guess that's well, no, because I'm thirty one. So I guess whatever that, I guess like from, whatever that generation is, that's like was born in like, two thousand six. I guess. It's like from, yeah, from like two thousand six to like two thousand nine. Whatever that generation is, whatever. They were young kids. They were so excited about, uh, I think even the mom too, because she was like, do you have a, <laughs> it's funny that the guy in the shop, she asked for, um, she, she was, they were, I guess they were, I, I didn't really look, I was too enamored with the book I was, I was looking at it and I was too busy looking at the, you know, trying to figure out what was what. So the mom asked, do you have any All Might? And the guy was confused. He was like, "What? What is all oh my? What is that?" And the lady, I guess the lady should have explained who that character is, because the guy was like, "All oh my? Is that a is that a comic?" And she's like, and she just kept going on, like, it's like, do you have any all oh my?" I'm like, because it was funny to me, because the guy didn't know, <laughs> he didn't know what the hell she was talking about. I knew what she was talking about. All Might is from, is from, um, well, I'm, I'm blanking. My Hero, Ac My Hero Academia. 
uh, the, the other than like Deku, he's the biggest character in that show, or at, at the time, I guess before. So apparently, I found out some spoilers. I guess he ain't around no more in the later seasons, which I guess it makes sense story wise. He wasn't he wasn't meant to be last until the end of the series. I'm not. That's not really a, a huge spoiler. But uh, anyway, and I don't know what she was looking for. I guess she was looking for like a, some a figurine or something. I, yeah, yeah. Because she then he was like, he was like, uh, well, I mean, if this is if this is uh, if this like a figurines are right here. So I mean, this is all we got. Um, that's all that's out here. We don't. Then that's all we have, unfortunately. Um, and then uh, some 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 kid asked for something. And it was it was manga related. He was like, "Oh yes, he was he was so excited." I think he saw something, or he asked the shop guy about the um, about the um, um, about about something something. It was some something manga related, anime related, and he was just so excited when he heard they had it in stock or they found it or something. It, like I said, it was just, it was so nice, man, just to see people genuinely, like, enthusiastic and excited about something. I don't know, it was just, it was just good times in there. Um, and then there was a lady with her kid, this was a separate family, um, and they were checking out, and <laughs> did this thing, so... This is actually a good life lesson to teach your kids. So after they were done ringing up everything, um, um, what was it? The guy was giving her the change. He was counting it out, and the the girl wasn't paying attention. And it's a thing for a lot, like a lot of kids. Uh, kids don't really pay attention to the small details. Um, kids, if you're out there. Um, when you pay for something, right? If you're paying cash, make sure you pay attention to what they tell you the amount is. Make sure you count how much money you're giving them, and make sure you count how much change you're supposed to get. This is a this is a great lesson um, because the mom was sitting there. You know, she wasn't. You know, she was. You know, supervising, make sure. I mean, he wasn't gonna jip them off. Jip them off, obviously. But it's just a it's a nice lesson because mistakes happen with, with money, obviously. So he was uh he was counting the chain because that's what he did to me. He counted out the chains, I and mean, I'm like, I right, bet because I can do the math in my head uh, if it's if it's basic enough. Like when it gets to like there's a certain like so the so when he told me the title when he told me the um. So my total was with tax. It was twenty five seventy five. So I was like, all right, twenty five seventy five. I gave him a forty. That's fourteen twenty five. I should be getting back. I already knew that in my head well before he even took the change out and counted. But all, what I'm saying is, uh, kids, make sure you make sure you make sure you know what you're giving them. Because I've had people. Like I'm going back to my job. I've had people come up to me. And. They they they'd be confused like hey weren't you supposed to give me this much and this much? I'm like nah bro you gave me a hundred and your total was like uh, what was the total? It was like forty something. For, it was like forty dollars and some change. And I remember because I had to give him a whole bunch of ones because people were draining me out. I had to like back to back to back. Everyone was giving me like hundred dollar bill, fifty dollar bill, hundred dollar bill. I'm like I only I only got for so much change. I can make it work. You just going about hey, you gonna have a lot of ones. So it is what it is, though. And I counted that crap. I counted that money in front in in front of this man. I put the money on the counter, counted that stuff, gave it to him, and gave him a receipt. And I told him the I told him the, the amount when we was done. We was done. I was done ringing up everything. I told him the amount, and you know, I mean, it, it's not like he can't. It's not like he couldn't see the register open. He could, he, he can see the register open. It's not like he can't look at what. It's not like he couldn't look at what, how much money I had in there. Um, he 
easily could have seen right off the bat, oh, I'm about to get a bunch of ones. And that's what he did. He had a bunch of ones. It was like a 20, a 10, and like $25 worth of ones or something like that. So it was a lot. Of, it was a ridiculous amount of ones I had to give out. But it is what it is. So I, I count that stuff. I gave it to him. Hey, like, have a good day, man. And he came back like two minutes later. Like, hey, aren't you supposed to give me uh, 60 bucks? Or something like that. And I was like, yeah, man. I gave you I gave you the 60 bucks. I count that stuff. And he, he get, so I was like, let me see the money. He gave me the, he gave me the change I gave him. And we counted through this again. Slowly. And he's like, ah, oh, okay, 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 cool. I got you. Thanks. I'm like... Jeez, like, as an adult, that, and that's a grown adult. I, I one thing when I was a kid, but that's a grown ass man. Like, if anything, I would have. And this, this is one thing also too. I don't take no offense if you got to count, if, if especially if it's a lot of change. If you got to count that money again in front of me, please count the money in front of me, because like I said, people make mistakes. You get I ha, I take no offense to you counting that money over again. It's your it's your money. You, it's your change you getting back. It's, it's your money. You you have the right to get the change you both get back. It's, it, that's how you exchange money. I don't take no offense to that crap. Or if you really are afraid of offending me, you shouldn't. Uh, I don't know. Go to the go off to the side, count the money again, make sure it's right, and then go on about your day. But that's a. Uh, there's another side tangent in this. There's a lot that, <laughs> there's a lot that happened in that place. But anyway, you know, then the mom was like, oh, make sure, are oh, you paying attention? Make sure he's giving you the right money. And it's like, did you, did, oh, yeah, hold on, did you count the change? Like, oh. And the other thing, when you're a kid that young, I want to say the kid was like somewhere between 10 and 12, I guess. Uh, Yeah, you know, usually, most kids that age don't really deal with like a whole bunch of money like that. Like if you, like the most, like you, well, I guess I don't know, time to change, but like when I was that age, the most money I ever walked around with was maybe like twenty bucks. And but it was a lot easier back in the day because I would either spend that money at like the ice cream shop. I mean, ice cream shop, the ice cream man. I would go to the like the corner store to get some snacks or what else did I use that money for or like I guess if I went like uh, like out to the mall or something I would buy something from a store but that's that's all I had to work with nowadays kids walk around like and I've seen that in my store kids walk around they uh some of these parents are, like letting them use their like they get well, they have their own credit card, but it's obviously under the parents. Like, they have a joint account. So, like, that card alone, like, got, like, a thousand dollars. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Like, bro, you're, like, 12, 13 years old. They just gave you, they just put a thousand dollars in your account, bro, to let you go buy these parts? Yeesh. But anyway, all right, so this goes back, and then, like, she said something to me that's very... That's very, um, that actually, um, I really like what she said. Uh, she was like, she's like, you gotta count your change when you get it. Like, if like, um, if that man, she says something to the effect of like, um, she said, she said two different things. She said like, if he had gave you like, uh, like if she said something like if he if she had gave you if he had gave you like less than what you were supposed to get back, would you have noticed? And I'm saying like no, he's not. She would not have noticed because she was not paying attention. You gotta pay. So more of the story, kids, pay attention when it comes to the money you're handling, the money you're giving out, the money you get back. Because like I said, it's your money. Unless you plan, unless you pay exact change, you're gonna get change back. So you need to, you know. Just be just be aware of that, okay? Uh, so anyway, after that was done, I went in uh, after them. Um, uh, so then, yeah, so then it was my turn to walk in. I walked to him. 
I was like, hey, can you, uh, I was like, hey, can you, uh, search up something? These couple books. And I don't know why he said it this way. So when, when, uh, when I went up to him and, um, you know, I was like, hey, what's going on, man? Hey, it's like, uh, can you help me find these two books? I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. Uh, no, well, no, what I said is, uh, I got a couple questions. Like, yeah, sure, good. And I was like, can you look up a couple books? And he's like, uh, he's like, nah, we can't do that. Um, he's like, this is like a mom and pop shop. So our computers aren't connected to the, there's no way, the computer don't show us what we have or anything like that. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Um, he's like, yeah, but if you tell me the books, names, I can help you find it. I can see it, I can, I can see, um, I can, tr I guess, try to help you see if we have which, I don't know, something about the, not necessarily his, his, uh, I guess the, the way he answered the question when I asked him that, um, I don't know, I wasn't offended by what, how he answered the question, but it was just, it was very, it's a very, odd way he he answered the question because he re all he really had to say was oh sorry man i can't i can't look it up our computers don't work that way or our computers don't actually keep track of inventory i was like okay cool whatever but the way that he went through all that and the mom and pop stuff i'm like i don't know something about that is like i don't know you i'm a big person of uh I don't like, so there's a, for me, I think when, when you get, when you get to a certain age, um, some, sometimes just, just answer the question. Like sometimes when you ask someone a question, they give you like a whole, they had a lot, they had a lot more words to the answer than, 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 than that's absolutely necessary. Like I said, he went to like, oh, well, we can't work that here, man. This, this is a, you see this, is like, this is a mom and pop stuff. Now, I'm not bashing on the guy, but like I said, sometimes I just need a, sometimes you just need a, a straight answer. Hey, do you have this, this, and this? And it's like, it could have been like, nah, unfortunately we don't have this. Uh, you know, I'd look it up, but our system doesn't work that way. All right, cool, whatever. But like, yeah, I get it's a mom and pop shop, but like, uh, I guess mom and pop shops don't have a way to look up. I don't know. I don't know. That interaction was weird. Like I said, this guy had been, I don't know him. The other guy in there was, was a lot cooler than him. Like, not like in terms of like, uh. I got like a cool guy, geeky guy thing, but like the, the other guy, he was like on the foot. I guess he was like the, the guy they had up there for the register at that, that point in the day. I don't know. The other guy, he was walking around, he was talking to people, having a conversation. Everyone was having a good time. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't like the guy up front was, people had a, anything bad with him. It was just, I don't know. I don't know. Strange. But anyway, so I asked him, so I asked him for a couple books. Um, I asked him from, I asked him about Call the Night. And I was like, oh, do you have any of this stuff? Do you have uh, like any more of the other volumes? And he's like, I don't think so, man. Cause he was like, uh, cause then he was like, pretty much if it's on, whatever we have out is on the floor. I was like, all right, whatever, all right, cool. And I asked him about, <laughs> asked him about Isom, and he was like, huh? he was like, who? I was like, Isom. Like, uh, I never heard of that. I was like, ah, okay, cool. It, that's fine. Don't worry about it, bro. It's cool. <laughs> it's all good, man. You don't have it. Cause I was like, yeah, if we have it, to be in the eye. Like, yeah, I know, man. I, I've looked. I was in. I've been in this store before I even even picked out anything. I was already in that store for like twenty minutes, just looking through everything. Um, Yeah, stay hydrated. So, 
Yeah. So that was the upstairs. Uh, and then I was like, um, the, the last thing I asked him, hey, can I hold this back here in my backpack while I go downstairs? Because, like I said, I'm a big, I, I'm a big believer. Wherever you go, you need to ask. You, you need to read the signs. If you don't know, ask. Like I said, this is a very weird thing for adults. Um, they act like kids in this situation. If you don't know something, ask. That my 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 mom was a big um was a big proponent of that. Um, that was a big thing for her. It's like in school, like uh, she when I was always like having trouble with stuff. She was like, "What did you ask the teacher?" And I was like, "Well, no." It's like, "Well, why didn't you ask the teacher?" It's like, "I don't know." Excuse me. But like, she's like, "If you don't know, ask." And that this that just this is something that has always uh that's just always been engraved in me, I guess, from a young age, and that leads into parts of life. Like, if you don't know, ask, man. Don't be. Especially when something's really important. If you really don't know, you need to ask. Because if you try and you trying to guess, you gonna mess something up tremendously. You know what I'm saying? There's a certain there's obviously I'm not saying ask for every single thing, but if there's something like if you've been in the store for like ten, fifteen minutes, you still can't find it and you're kinda of confused, then yeah. Like that's what I'm saying. You you still have to work it out. For yourself, for it. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, but like, oh, if you like, you know, you show it on time. You just like, hey man, I, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm not too familiar with this place. I was like, okay, cool. I'll have you out. No problem, bro. But the fact that people go out of their way to um, basically act like they don't know what they're doing. Like if you don't know, just just ask, man. That's it's a very simple concept. That's since the beginning of the time. So, some some you have to ask sometimes. Sometimes just ask. You never know. You you. Uh, th some people are just I guess afraid of the answer they're gonna get with some situations. That's why you have this whole um, what's that thing? Um, what's that? What's that saying they always say? Um, it's better to. Sometimes it's better to ask for forgiveness than beg for permission. Some, some to that effect. Yeah, I mean, there's certain situations where you should do that. Um, not necessarily in something in like serious situations, but like I don't know, like um, I, I don't, I don't know. There's, there's, you, you, you probably know. There's probably been plenty of situations in your life where you've done that mantra, where you just kind of. It was better to just do it and then beg for forgiveness down the line and ask for permission. But then my mom was always like, my mom would always be like, "Well, if you had just asked, <laughs> I might have said, yeah, I, you might, you, you might have been surprised what I'd have said." You know what I'm saying? Or something like, I don't know. I'm going on a lot of tangents for this video. A lot of it had nothing to do with the comic book shop. But I don't know. I don't know. A lot of like a lot of situations bring up a lot of other situations or bring up some more situations. It's like a whole rabbit hole. Anyway, you hear about the my experience at the comic book shop. So anyway, I talked to the guy, but he was cool though. I ain't tripping. Uh, I left my bag upstairs. And I went downstairs. So downstairs, it's very cool. Um, they didn't have. I don't think they had like a nine nine like a dollar bin unless I wasn't looking for it. Like I said, I'm not really into like the the floppy stuff. I'm more into like the actual. Uh, I'm more into like the uh, like the actual like. Um, I guess I did buy. I guess they I guess they classify as floppies. I don't know. I'll show them to you. I, think, I mean, I bought some floppies. But I want something with, like, some, some weight to, like, some actual depth of, like, a, like a nice good amount of pages. Um, so I went downstairs, and the first thing I noticed, so when you go down the steps, straight in front of you, is, like, the new release comics. 
um, like so downstairs are like the actual like that's legit where they keep like the comics comic stuff like the actual floppy stuff upstairs is more like the manga and like your, your, your actual graphic novels with like hard covers and all that um, so I went down there and they had like the new releases and there was some interesting stuff there they had some junk they had a junk it was like spider uh, uh, what the f uh, spider Gwen something something and I was looking at it, I was like okay maybe I opened the book like I said I'm very particular when it comes to like when it comes to like physical me like when it comes to like physical books because art style it's not everything, but it's a it's a big proponent, you know what I'm saying? Because if the, if the art doesn't look, it doesn't even have to look, like people get confused, like they look at a certain art style and don't think it's professional. There are unique art styles, but it still has to look, it still has to look professional, you know what I'm saying? Like you read manga, like, so I'm reading uh, like, so for example, there's the, the Deadly Sins of the Ichinose family. If you've ever read that manga, the art in that is very different from like Kaiju number eight. And that's Kaiju number eight's art style is very different from like Bleach. But they all look like, they all look, they have a certain professional level and a certain um, like professional style to them. They don't look like no offense, they don't look like something you would find on like a, like a webtoon or like a like or some like indie like a super like even the indie comics have like a professional art style to them. But some of these books look like very like I ain't gonna lie, ugh, like like I can see why these guys, the guys I watch, I can see why they complain about the comic book industry because a lot of, like a lot of these major books, these major publications. The art style is just like very, like it don't fit who it's supposed to be targeted to, and I think that's one thing they always bring up, and that's very true. Like, um, like I, so I was up when I was up front, upstairs. There was a the first thing I noticed when I saw the, the graphic novels stuff was the Korra stuff, the Avatar stuff, and the Steven Universe stuff. I was going, I was looking at that Steven Universe stuff real talk. I opened the book, and it's like. That doesn't, ah, oh, that just doesn't, I don't know, that's not, it's not pleasing to the eye. It's got to be pleasing to the eye. Because you can, you can get away with a lot of stuff when it's aesthetically pleasing. But if it ain't, it, if it ain't on the par, and like I said, I don't know if the story is bad. Like I said, I, I ain't had time to read all that stuff in the store. I just took glances at it. But, yeah, man, some of that stuff is like, yeah, I got to Steppy game up for some of them books, uh, but anyway, so like that for for where I saw that Gwen Stacy book, Spider Gwen, whatever, and then that whole wall was like all like the new indie stuff, new image stuff, new DC Marvel stuff on that wall. I was like, okay, then I went through the aisles, and downstairs they had a. Uh, like your like all types of floppies on the on the sh on the little shelves they got, and you know they had a mix of stuff: Image, Independent, DC, Marvel. Uh, and th that stuff downstairs is basically just alphabetical. Um, so I went through. I went. I was down there for a while because I went through some of them aisles like two or three times just to check out what's in there. Because like I said, I I don't have any experience with this stuff. I was basically just going down there just checking out what they have. If any if something was cool. If it looked cool to me, and I think, and I, and the store, and it looked like the store could go somewhere, then I got it. That, that, that's what really, that's what I was locked into. So I went down there a couple times, um, and there were some books I picked up and put down, and I came back again and picked them up and put them down. I was like, okay, this is cool. Uh, when I went down there, there was a, one other guy, um, who I, I don't even think... <laughs> I don't even think he, so I was down there for a while. I don't even think he noticed me until I think I made some noise when I was looking at the shelves and he finally looked over at me. Like I said, I ain't, I, like, I ain't down there to mess with him. I'm down there looking for some books. Yeah, he, Cause he was flipping through the, the long boxes. And I know that phrase. I know what that means. Thank you, Eric July. 
Um, they had some long boxes up, upstairs too. With, like I said, when they had like the uh, the actual DC Marvel floppy stuff, but they had like a like huge boxes downstairs. Uh, and homie was just you know he was looking through them things. I ain't mad at him. He do your thing. Um. So yeah. Oh, so they also on like the so when you walk down the steps. Uh, everything is to your right, basically. So on the far right, there's a there's a there's, there's, there's two big shelves on the wall, and all that stuff was basically everything on that wall was marked fifty uh, percent off. And I was like, okay, that's what's up. I'm, I'm definitely that was probably the uh, that was the first thing I actually saw. I was like, oh, all this stuff fifty percent off, because the guy upstairs told me uh, if you're looking for something that's not up here, check downstairs. He's like he said the stuff that's like really old would be downstairs, which I, I guess that wouldn't make sense. I guess you want the new stuff, you try and get that stuff to sell, and then, you know then if it's old stuff, I guess the last resort. So um, I was looking at the wall, and there was just all there was just so much. Oh my god, there was so much Marvel stuff on that 50% off, on that 50% off wall. I'm like, now that, that's just at a quick, like at a glance. But it's it, it just saying like every, because you, when you look at the spines, you can see the names and the company. So much of that stuff was DC Marvel. I'm like, there, there's no, like nothing else is 50% off. Like there's no indie stuff that's 50% off. There's no... There was a couple. There was like, so when I so when I got to like the far end of the of the shelf, at the very very bottom, there was like, I don't know if they were all the same issue. There were like ten copies of Attack on Titan, and like two of these obscure mangas. That I'm, I'm assuming they were all fifty percent, but that was the only manga that was out there. And then there was like some some Marvel stuff that was like, I guess. Uh, I guess in like Marvel, in like anime style Marvel stuff that was down there at the, on the fifty percent wall, and I was like, "Damn, they're like this, like, like I said, if, if you don't, if you really don't like, super, like I don't really care for superheroes. I don't, I didn't really, I didn't know much about the MCU, all that stuff when it came out. Um, like I enjoy s some of his stuff, but like I'm not a big guy, like a big uh." fan of it per se I have still to this day have not seen all them MCU movies and that was before phase 4 so like I, I still haven't seen Thor Dark World I still haven't seen the Captain America Winter Soldier um what else have I not seen um have, have I seen everything else and like some, some of the other movies I didn't watch till like years later, like Gal Guardians of the Galaxy. I didn't watch that till like twenty seventeen, I think. Twenty seventeen, twenty eighteen. Like it was, it was years later when I saw that. And then you got like the new stuff. I still have I, a lot of the pr pretty much the TV shows other than like she other than She Hawk and Miss Marvel. I've not seen any of the other TV shows. Um, I never watched any of the Netflix stuff. Um, even the movie, I haven't, I, haven't, I, haven't, I haven't watched any of the new movies since Endgame. So yeah, I really, I'm really not heavy in the superhero stuff. Um, I like D DC. Is, I like DC more, but even DC, I still have, I still, there's a lot of that I haven't seen. I haven't seen the Justice League movie. I haven't seen Aquaman completely. I haven't seen. Uh, I've seen Shazam. I ain't seen the second one. I haven't seen Black Adam. Um, I just, I really do not put my, like, I, I'm more of a science fiction horror, not, not science fiction, more of a science fiction super, supernatural guy. So I like stuff like that. Any Anything that's in that realm, I enjoy that more than superheroes. That's just, I'm going to be honest. Um, but anyway. So the fifty percent wall really had nothing. Like if you're a big superhero fan, boy, that you gonna love that wall. Fifty percent off them prices, 
that's not bad. Um, so yeah, man. So basically, I was down there for a while. I went back to the little the little aisle with the shelf they had of the other comics, and there was some interesting stuff down there. But for me, there has to be a number one issue. Otherwise, there's no point of me buying anything. Like if it looks good, right? But you got volume two and three, but you don't have volume one. I can't, I can't buy volume two. I gotta know what happened in the uh, in the, in the first volume, how it starts. And there was a lot of stuff down there. It, that's the same thing. That's why I didn't buy too much. Of, that's why I didn't buy any other manga than what I bought yesterday. Was because a lot of that stuff didn't have number one vibe. They would have like two, three, four. Like I said, I was going to get B stars, but I didn't. B stars has like 31, 31 vibes. I'm like, good god! Like did this, this manga went on that long. They had that many vibes. Was that third? Yeah, I think it, it had a ridiculous. No, no, no. That's night. No, what something that something I was looking on that looking at had like thirty one vibes. I don't know what I don't know what it was. No, because B stars had uh, I think it only got nineteen. So, <laughs> so like I said, when I was at the spin rack upstairs, uh, like the spin rack had no real um, like theme. It was just manga, whatever, on that spin rack. So I saw there was volume nineteen of B stars, and I was like. Jeez, like I, I, I understand. I mean, I, I always understood why people like B stars for one reason or another. But that, <laughs> that cover art for volume nineteen is insane. Like that, that can't be legal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, if you don't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just search up uh, B stars volume nineteen. You'll see. You'll see what I'm talking about. I'm like, that's 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 almost like on the on the line of uh, whether you can show that in a public space or not. But anyway, um, see, so yeah, I was downstairs, and like I said, there was some good stuff down there. Um, but it's it's really it's so, like if, unless you like manga or you like uh, superhero stuff. Uh, like the stuff in between is so it's so it's so much harder to find because it's all like uh, in my opinion I think it's because it's all so everything when it comes to comics is so superhero centric it's really hard to find the stuff in between that's not superhero like it's hard like the science fictions and the supernaturals um, and like just a I guess like slice of life stuff like I, I'm I, I don't mind I'm I like slice of life. I don't I don't care what no one say. Slice of life is awesome. Um, like I said, I've read uh, well. We so that oh they had we never learned they had that too. Oh and they had the soul eater. I, I, now I'm remembering everything. They had the soul eater uh, like perfect edition or something, which are like the omnibus versions. Um, it's actually a very the, the covers are very nice for those. Um, But yeah, man, like, I don't know. So it's all in all, I did find some stuff, finally. Most of it from downstairs, because it was like three ninety nine. I'm like, okay, whatever, like, I'll buy, you know, there's the first couple volumes of this one and this one, because it's three ninety nine. Um, it's It's very weird, like, I, now, I do understand, like, some of them Jones were like five ninety nine. I get that. Now, I understand where y'all coming from, like, because they they were like almost the exact same like the, the in, in size, but one was six dollars, the other one was four dollars. I'm like, is that two dollars worth getting the same amount of content? I don't think so. Now I understand where y'all coming from, but like if everything was three ninety nine, like it, that's really when you break it down, like I mean, what what is what if what's four dollars, bro? Now I understand a lot of people get like a whole bunch of stuff like every, uh, what do you, what do you call it? Uh, apparently you have like um, 
Somebody, I forgot what it is, but you have like your uh, pull list or whatever. That's what they call it. I can see if your pull list, but like even then, I, I don't think everyone buys what they order, you know what I'm saying? I think they pick and choose, right? I, I think people order the stuff and then if they want to get it, then they get it. I think that's how that works. I don't know. Like I said, y'all, y'all tell me how that works. Because I would, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spend my time and waste their time ordering stuff I'm not gonna pick up. Um, I mean, I understand why you would do it so you have first dibs on it, and then if you don't want it, then they can put it out there. But I don't know. I don't think I'll ever. I don't think I'll ever have a pull list because I don't think, knowing me, I won't be going that often. This was like a. This was like like years, waiting to go. I don't know because I I just never had time. And then like even on the weekend, I always tell myself, "Hey, I'm gonna go up there and check it out." I never went to check it out because uh, so it, was, it was something else I wanted to do, something else I had to do. Um, but it was like. So Saturdays in the in the spring and Saturdays in the fall, um, unless I have to get it done, there's not going to be a whole lot of uh, there's not going to be a whole lot of going out for me really when it comes to fall because I'm a big college football fan. So Sundays are different. Like I can I can miss a week of uh, like if I miss a week of NFL, I I really don't. It's not going to break my soul. To miss, to miss the commanders um one one Sunday, you know what I'm saying? I, I could it is what it is. They're not gonna be great anyway, so I'm not missing anything. But college football is different. I, I I've been watching college football for years. Just just and plus just off the sheer amount of teams and schools. Um I can say for a fact I've watched Probably three times as much college football as I do the NFL. So, yeah. Um, but anyway, yeah. In my opinion, so overall, um, it, was a, it was a cool experience. Like I said, it was very, the atmosphere was cool. The music was bumping. Um, um, yeah, I mean, it was, there was no bad vibes. It was, a, it was a cool place to be. It was a cool place, you know, to spend like an hour or so on a Saturday. I just wish the sun was out like it is today because yesterday it was all uh, gray and dreary. Uh, looked like it was going to rain. It didn't rain. But, yeah, it was a good experience. I would I'll definitely go back now. Now that I know they have a, a decent, decently sized manga say and they got some good stuff in there. I just I gotta get my funds right so I can actually start building that um that manga collection. Cause as much manga as I read, I have more comics than I have manga. Which is a weird it's a weird thing to say. Because I don't read comics like that. I don't read American comics like that. I r I've read in my life I've read more Japanese comics then I have um, American comics. Not to say that one's better than the other, because like I said, I've read Saga. I've read Paper Girls. They had Paper Girls too, on the uh, the best, so the, the, I guess the most popular selling thing. They were on the same shelf. Um, that was those those was some good series. They just I guess I caught up or they went on hiatus. I don't know. And I don't know. It's just. I, I don't know. I guess if you're really into comics, it's just easier to keep up with it. But, um, yeah, because cause I follow a lot of manga. I watch a lot of manga stuff. Not like I used to, but I do follow like, these manga pages. I follow Viz. I follow Shono Jump on Twitter. So they always keep you in the loop. For good or for bad, and you already you already know if you've seen the video I did on the Viz app. Um, the uh, you know you know what I'm talking about. Um, by the way, which means oh so this month for I guess 
uh, this has nothing to do with the shop. But this month, remember, uh, your subscription is going to end. Uh, essentially, either, for most of us, it's probably going to be. It's probably coming up real soon. Make sure you keep track of what you read on the Viz app. If you use the Viz app, make sure you write it down. I don't know, screenshot, sh shop, shop, and all, 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 all. Screenshot it. Um, I don't know. Make a word document and type down what you're reading and chapters you left off at. Because, like I said, when they cancel that subscription, they're gonna just cancel it, and then you have to you'll have to re up on the Shonen Jump app. Which it sucks. They really should just transfer it over for you, but they they want to make it difficult. So I also I gotta remember to do that today. So when they cut it off, I'll have um, I'll be able to um, I'll be able to keep track of what I've been reading because I I read a lot. I read a lot of stuff. You've seen the. The video I did with the what I'm reading, that list is very long. I'm not losing that huge list because they don't want to do what's they do the due diligence on their part and just transfer everything over. And like I said, uh, if you read on if you read on the website, it's very different from the, the app. And what you read on the app doesn't transfer to the website, and what you read on the website doesn't transfer to the app. So yeah, anyway. Uh, so yeah, overall experience, I gave it a thumb, I gave it two thumbs up. My first experience at a local comic shop. Um, I would, I'll definitely be going back again. I just don't know when. Um, so yeah, let me show you what I picked up. So, let me show you what I picked up. So I'm going to do the, one of these books for last. So, these, I think they're all, are these all image comics? Yeah, they're all image comics. Okay. Uh, so, I don't know what these books entail necessarily. This is two. This is one. Okay. So, I'm going to go start with this one first. So, I got issues one and two. Uh of this series oh this is a cover A huh oh so this sh I guess three should be coming out soon I guess I don't know the art looks good to me uh, the cover looks cool for both of these I, I don't know. Like I said, for three ninety nine, I'm not tripping over. Really, I ain't tripping over because if it's bad, it's bad. It is what it is. If it ain't great, I ain't, I'm not gonna be upset about what I lost. Now I understand if you're a bigger fan of comics, obviously I would understand four dollars buying all these comics for four dollars a piece, and then none of them are good to you. Then all the you're 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 wasting money at that point, but I think I got a I think I got a decent haul for what I got. So I got this first the first series I got. Um, oh, they they didn't have they didn't have issue three down there. Let's see. 9, 21, 10, 19. Yeah, this wasn't down there. Okay. So anyway, uh, so this series is called Delius Bouquet. Uh, Erica Schultz Carola Carola Erica Schultz Carola Borelli and Gabe Contreras. Um, see, so, yeah. so this is cover A. I have no idea what the other covers look like. Um, 
I didn't even hex. I didn't even know this was a, a variant cover until just now. <laughs> I didn't even know this was a variant cover until just now. Uh, so this is volume issue one right here. Oh man, this this camera is so much better than my laptop. Let me move that out. So that's issue one. And then, uh, this right here is issue two. So this, this was the first, this is the first one I saw when I was looking. Um, this is actually, this is actually why I was looking for, for this one. Because I was like, wait, hold on, what, what they doing in this, what they doing in this? Because this, this is, this is badass. I, I like this. This is what drew me in. To, to finding this out, like, okay, what they doing? Um, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for women and, and guns and, and crazy weapons. So yeah, this is definitely, I'll definitely be reading this at some point. Uh, might do a review for it. Uh, let me see. And then this one, this series, is which one is this three two issue one okay cool so put this in order oh, this is also a variant cover huh Okay, I did not know that. But this is the only one. This was only so. This is only issue one I saw down there. So this is called a thing called truth. So this is issue one. This is cover B though. So, so what I notice. So one thing I've noticed with these comics, right, is you really have. It, it, you really just have to read a few pages and then decide and then decide what um, and then this, what, am, what am I going and then you have to decide if you want to buy just, like that's what I'm saying the art when you open up the book the art and the cover has to draw you in this one which I appreciate is on the back they actually give you a synopsis right of what the books is, is about right um so i didn't i didn't even notice this because I, I looked at the back this one has so cover so covers right so that's uh cover a and b they had these two and then cover c they didn't have cover c cover c is the with both of them i guess on the cover they didn't have but it did have cover B, which is this one. So it's issue two, and that's cover B. Um, yeah, this one gives you a synopsis. And you got the dual covers again. Um, they didn't have cover B or C for the. I guess cover C the special editions, I guess. I didn't see any of the cover C's for this. But they did have for issue three they did have cover B. So I got that one. So yeah, and you got on the back. And I, I kinda like how they let you know on each cover, um what the what the, the next cover A's and B's and C's are gonna be. Um, looks cool. This is very cool. So yeah, like what I'm saying, as long as you got a number one, that's the thing. You gotta have a number one because I I can't buy like a, a I can't buy issue five if you don't get issue one. That that's crazy because I'm not gonna know what's going on. If there's no issue one, I I can't buy it. That's just 
just for the sake of knowing what the story is. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's, it, it's not gonna work. All right, so those are the comics I picked up. I did pick up one. Um, I did pick up one manga, and that is. I picked this up because I saw this on the app and I was like, oh, okay, I'm definitely gonna give this a read. So this right here is from the creators of The Promised Neverland. So this is Beyond The Promised Neverland. Um, so uh, essentially these are a bunch of short stories. Um, it's got a special one shot with the key elements that will later go into their biggest hit in an epilogue that shows what the main characters are up to after the end of the manga series. So that's cool. Um, yeah, that's cool. I guess you want to, I guess if you want to know more about what happened to like Emma and, and was it Emma, Norman, and what's the other boy, what's the other boy name? Emma Norman, I forgot his name, the black haired boy. I forgot his name. But yeah. So I, de I definitely picked it. Plus this was the only one, this was, the, this was the last copy left. So I'm, is that the? Oh, I thought, I thought the, uh, I thought the pay, I thought the cover was, uh, yeah, you see that, right? I thought that was the cover. That's I think that's like the reflection off my monitor. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely this is definitely my favorite out of everything I picked up. Um, so yeah, I will definitely be reading this at uh, at some point. I've read a I've read a couple of the other. Um, so you see, yeah, I've read this story, the one with the. Uh, the guy with the the camera I read that story. Um, I ain't even really I ain't even really open this up, but I was like I knew I, I knew I was gonna I knew I was gonna pick this up. Uh, yeah, so they got some other stories. So they said the best story. So I Poppy's Wish I never read. Uh, the Spirit Phot Photographer I read that one. Never done. Re never saw we were born. DC three, uh, Takashi and Poppy and Dreams Come True, which is the Promise Neverland special side story. So, yeah, this is definitely my favorite pickup of uh, of my haul. But yeah, I'm definitely, 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 definitely gonna read this at some point. I might read. I might read this once I'm done. Once I waiting for my clothes to dry. I actually gotta put my clothes in the dryer. It was like, that was supposed to be like, like an hour ago. <laughs> but, yeah, that was, that was supposed to be like, oh, not 30 minutes ago, I guess, not an hour. But anyway, so yeah, that's, that was my haul. This is my haul that I got at my local comic book shop. Let me see if I can do this like a, can I, can I get this? Can I hit that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get that. Get that, get that, get that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, this is a thumbnail, right? Here. Hold on. I think I gotta get, get my baby in there. Right. I think, I think that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a thumbnail right there. Alright. Damn. So, uh, yeah. That was my experience at my first local... Co at, at my first, well, my first experience at my local comic book shop and what I picked up. So, there you go. I know this is a very long <laughs> experience story time thing, if you want to call it. Haul video. But, uh, I don't know. There's a, a lot that happened. And, uh... Yeah, like I said, overall, I gave it two thumbs up. I would, I'm definitely going back again. Um, once I get monetarily correct, 
I can buy some more stuff. And then hopefully by that point, if I like these series, uh, hopefully they'll have the, the next volumes out by that point. And I can pick those up and continue the story. But uh, yeah. So anyway, that's all. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this very long video. Um, but you shouldn't be surprised. If you watch my playthroughs, those are very, this is nothing compared to what I put out for some of my playthrough videos. Uh, but yeah. Oh, that will also be another video I'll be making. Because I actually picked up something else uh, on the same day at the comic book shop. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Uh, thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. And peace.